ラッパムシラッパムシはとても小さな微生物ですつまり顕微鏡よりも小さいのです信じられなくらいとても小さいのですアイスクリームサンドイッチに文句を言っている背広を着たおじさんよりも小さいのです毒入りレーズンを売っているピエロよりも小さいのですプロスペクターの帽子で縄跳びをして遊んでいる2杯のタピオカよりも小さいのですとても小さすぎて世界で一番小さな子犬でも匂いを嗅ぐことができないのですラッパムシはとても小さいのと同時に特有の生命体で特有の性格を持っていて特有の話がありますでもこの映画の主人公はラッパムシではありませんでもこの話は一匹のラッパムシから始まりますここではみんなが見えるように少し拡大してみましょうはい。これがバブルバブルミャオそしてあれは電話が鳴る音。Hello? Someone thinks I'm cute? And they want to share a donut with me? So they entered me into a contest? And I won? What did I win? Hello?
Once in a while, a small, tiny, leftover fragment of a meteor will fall to the ground. When it hits the ground, it's called a bazooka, and it sounds delightful. Tonight's meteor shower is expected to last one one-hundredth of an hour or less. So keep your eye in the sky and your foot in the dumpling jar. Cuckoo buku. Whenever I answer the door, something bizarre happens. I hope something bizarre doesn't happen. Oh, ho, ho, this isn't strange at all. It's my friend Paul. Hello, Paul. Bubble, bubble, meows. Let's get some coffee. Paul, you already have a coffee. I do? Well, let's get another coffee. How have you been, Paul? Real good. What you been doing? I won some kind of contest. I guess I'm cute. Am I cute? A cute contest? Wow. I could have entered that. Just look at my nose. What did you win? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Congratulations, anyway. It's always good to win a contest. And it's always good to be cute. What have you been doing besides drinking coffee? Me? I've been working odd jobs. Oh, 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 what a busy cat you are. Tell me more. I worked one day at a baby horse farm. Oh, fun. What happened there? I had to quit. The coffee was terrible. Then I worked one day cramped up inside a porcelain box. My job was to be a paperweight on the desk of the owner of a toilet paper recycling company. <laughs> Gesundheit. Sounds great. How did it turn out? I had to quit. The coffee was terrible. Then I worked polishing hot air balloons. It was really fun. That sounds like fun. It was really fun. So that turned out well then, huh, Paul? I had to quit. The coffee was terrible. I also tried selling discount vouchers for bulk containers of freeze-dried gelatin door-to-door -to, -door to invalid tumbleweeds in the desert. But I don't have time to tell that story now. Needless to say... Oh, let me guess. I had to quit. But why? The coffee was not terrible, but it was too cold. In the desert? All they had was iced coffee. I can't stand the stuff. It hurts my teeth. Well, you're sure one busy cat. Have you been doing anything for fun, Paul? I've been dressing up like a pig and playing pranks on people. But I would never do that to you. Oh, that's very nice. Another cup of coffee, please. Paul, oh, how can you drink so much coffee? I don't know. I just can. How many coffees have you had today? Today? What day is today? Thursday. Really? Thursday? What was the question? How many coffees have you had? Oh man, I don't know. Hundreds. Just today? Oh yeah. You've had hundreds of coffees today. Oh yeah, tons of them. I think you're exaggerating there a bit, Paul. No one can drink hundreds of coffees. This guy here? He was here at 3 o'clock in the morning, drinking coffees before we were even open, for crying out loud. But truly now, how many coffees has he had? Hundreds. Hundreds? Oh yeah, tons of them. But that sign over there, isn't it a warning that you shouldn't have too many coffees? Warning, customers advised to not approach the coffee threshold. Uh, what do clowns know? Clowns don't know anything, but that sign warns against approaching the coffee threshold. What is this coffee threshold? Gee, I never thought of that. I don't know what the threshold is. And what happens when someone goes past the coffee threshold? I have no idea. How many coffees has my friend Paul the Cat had? Gee, let's see. Two at one o'clock, plus three at two o'clock, plus four at twenty to seven, plus three, plus four. Four plus six plus two plus one and hmm. Oh no. Paul, you have to stop drinking coffees. You might reach the coffee threshold. If you do, there's no telling what might happen. Maybe you're right, bubble bubble meows. Paul, I'm going to leave you now. There's a meteor shower tonight, and I want to reference my astronomy books before it starts. Okay, bubble bubble meows. Maybe we'll get some coffees later. Paul, if I had a nickel for every coffee you had today, I'd have hundreds of nickels. Yeah, so? Well, do the math. It's a nice sum of money, a huge pile of nickels. Huh, look at that. I'm shaking uncontrollably. 
too much coffee. Let's see. It says here that meteors are tiny gas planets that have been flying across the universe for days and days in search of pizza parties. My my, this book, it might be a few decades out of date, but it makes me feel smart. Sweet potato boy, sweet potato boy, you are super sweet, sweet potato boy, you are made Yes, this is Bubble Bubble Meows. Your best friend is a horse? You don't know what to get her for her birthday? I don't know. Bye bye. I need to get my number unlisted. There goes the door again. Let's hope nothing bizarre happens. I would qualify this as bizarre. What a large cake. I wonder why there's such a large cake at my door. Excuse me, massive, massive cake. Did you ring my doorbell? Probably someone left it here on accident. Ah, but what's this? Something's written on the side of the cake. Is it the name and number of the person who dropped it here? Huh. All it says is congratulations. Shh. What kind of made up Martian language is that? Congratulations. You won a contest. Congratulations. Congratulations. You won a contest and I'm the prize. Oh? You won the contest, Bubble Bubble Meows. I'm your new friend, String Bean. Oh, hello, new friend, Mr. String Bean. Just String Bean. String Bean's my name, and visiting you for the weekend is my game. It is? Sure is. Didn't you get the postcard? I got a phone call. That's just a formality. There should be a postcard. Did you send me a postcard? No, the head office sent it. Did they send it to the address of my new condo, or to the address where I used to live? I don't know. I'm just a little string bean. Oh, string bean, you're a funny little guy. Eep. This is a nice surprise. Please come on in. Oh, wow. So your name is string bean, and you are a little string bean. Does this get confusing at all? I'm sorry. I won't understand the question. Hmm, String Bean, what was the contest? How did I win? The contest was for learning to tie shoes. Oh, I thought it was for being cute. What are you talking about? I thought I won for being cute. <laughs> I don't think so. So, who entered me in the contest? <laughs> I won't know. Was it you? <laughs> yes, maybe. Yes. No, it was a pig. Well, in any case, I'm happy to have a new friend. That's what life's all about, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, welcome to my condo, String Bean. What do you want to do on your visit with me? I don't know. Just visit, I guess. Was there anything special you wanted to do while you're here? Oh, wow. Uh, I, I don't know. Do you have any all-terrain vehicles I can ride? All-terrain vehicles? Those things are dangerous. No, I don't have any. You got any cranberry pineapple pickle salami juice boxes? What boxes? You got any baby hippopotamuses? Baby what? You got any pine cones? Pine cones with miniature light bulbs that can spell words and you can bet money on horses? What? Oh, I get it. We'll do and say funny things. Make moments of levity. <sighs> hey, look at me. I have a bunch of grapes on my head. It's totally cuckoo buku bonkers. Isn't it? I'm sorry, I fell asleep. I sleep with my eyes open. You sleep with your eyes open? String bean? Do you have any lemonade stands around here? Lemonade stands? Oh, actually I think we do. There's one at the zoo. The zoo? Oh wow. We can go there tomorrow and spend the whole day there. Oh wow. You're the best. You're a funny little string bean. <laughs> what did you bring there? This is my robot, Joey. He can't talk good, but he can blow kisses. Say hi, Joey. Hello, Mr. Joey. I built him out of parts I found in a bag of marshmallows. 
Really? A robot made of marshmallows? Well, he used to have hair I got from a yarn store, but I guess it fell off. But everything else is from a bag of marshmallows. Who knew string beans were so talented? And who's that? Oh, Joey the robot's smart, too. He also built a robot. That's Joey Jr. Wow, an even smaller marshmallow robot. What? No, I'm a robot. Not a marshmallow robot. I'm not made of marshmallows. But he just said... You're a bit of a long, long kebabby, bobble meows. It's bubble bubble meows. Um, why? That's my name. Not a great response. Try again. I don't... I... Go on. There's no one wrong answer. Because... Because you're a sinewy kebabby. I'm a what? I'm just saying. Bobble bobble meows. It's kind of redundant. But... So is Joey Jr. Well, it's not quite the same thing, but I'll give you that one. And who's the other Marsh... er... robot? Oh my gracious. Joey Jr. also built a robot. That's Chompy. Oh, hello, Chompy. Did Chompy build a robot too? No, he's not that smart. He designs miniskirts, though. Jeepers. <laughs> this sure is goob expresso. I'm glad you like it, but don't drink too much. Oh, wow. Why not? Espresso has caffeine in it. It makes you not sleepy. Oh, wow. But we can have a little and stay up late tonight and watch the meteor shower. Oh, wow. What's a meteor shower? It's when these rocks from space come falling down and looks like lights moving across the sky. Oh, wow. I love lights moving across the sky. Then you'll love this, but we won't stay up too, too late. Otherwise, we'll sleep too long and won't have time for the zoo. What zoo? Where the lemonade stand is? We have to go to a lemonade stand. Okay, so let's make sure we get a good night's sleep. Okay, bubble bubble meows. Good. Bubble bubble meows? May I have more espresso? Hmm. <sighs> hey, can I get some too? Robots drink espresso? Yes, you glowing kebabby. We like anything but tomato juice. What's wrong with tomato juice? It's gross. How's it going, Nunzio? It is very hard work, but I am almost finished. What have you built there? This is the house that we will live in and enjoy the land of free trumpet animalcules. It's a grand home, a fine home, and er... Uh, what is it? We're going to need... Mmm... This many more. Oh. Uh... Bobble meows? Bubble meows. This... Espresso is decaffeinated. It is? Yes, it says so on the package. Oh, I guess it is. Do you even read the packaging when you buy stuff, or do you just grab things off the shelf without looking? I... what? It takes 1 80th of a second to look at the packaging and discern the word decaf versus regular. Um... You wet kebabby. If it's no good for you, why do you keep drinking it? <clears throat> what? Coffee! Free coffee! Coffee! Free coffee samples! They're free! Coffee! It's free coffee! It tastes just like coffee! Because it is coffee! And it's free! Coffee! 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 Coffee. Coffee. What an unusual character. Get ready, String Bean. The meteor shower is about to start. When is it going to start? Right now. Wow! Look at those stars. They formed a pattern and it looks just like a burrito. Look at them now. They look like a taquito. Look at them now. Do you know what that looks like? A bowl of mung beans. Stars are amazing, aren't they, String Bean? Oh look, they're changing again. I wonder what they'll look like this time. Mung beans again? Stars are amazing. 
Make a wish, string bean. <sighs> I wish I wasn't so sleepy. I wish your espresso wasn't becaffeinated. I wish you knew how to shop for coffee better. Let's sing a song. Like a Eurovision song? No, let's sing an actually good song. Bubble Bobble Meows! You are Kitty Kitty Cat! You are Kitty Kitty Cat! You smell like an old man's hat! You look like an ice cream splat! You are yucky like a rat! You are fatty fatty fat! You have boogers in your lap! You are scared of paper bags! You look like a butter pat! Go to sleep! If we sleep instead of sing, we are the crushers of our own dreams. I read that in a magazine about Eastern European cinema. Good night, String Bean. Good night, Joey, Joey Jr., and Chompy. Good night, Bubble Bubble Meows. Hello? Hello? What is it? Oh, for a second. I thought I was all alone in the whole world. You're not alone, String Bean. Joey the Marshmallow Robot and these other robots are with you. Oh yeah, they are. Good night. Good night. Hello? Is anybody there? What is it? What's wrong, String Bean? Oh, it's you. Where did you go? I was trying... I was going to go to bed. Oh, so you didn't bish up here. You were just going to bed. Yes, just because I leave the room doesn't mean I disappear. You could have fooled me. It is a funny thing. It's funny. <laughs> okay then, I'm going to go to bed now. Won't leave me alone in the whole world. I won't. I'm just going to the other room. Won't bish up here. I'm just going over there to my room. I mean it. It's okay. I'm not disappearing. Won't bish up here. Big baby kabappy. Good night. Oh, String Bean, what's the matter? I'm lonely. It's a scary world, and I'm lonely. Would you like me to sing you a song to help you go to sleep? Yes, I'd like you to sing me a song to help me sleep. Huh, is there any particular song you'd like to hear? Yes, I'd like you to sing me the String Bean song. Not sure I know the string bean song, but I'll sure do my best. Maybe, just maybe, it goes something like this. Teeny tiny string bean man Teeny tiny string bean man He's teeny and he's tiny and he's teeny tiny string bean man. Oh wow! Sing it again! Maybe this time with different instrumentation. Okay, and maybe this time everyone will sing with me. This is optional, right? <laughs> String bean man, teeny tiny string bean man. He's teeny and he's tiny and he's teeny tiny string bean man. String bean? Oh, I forgot. You sleep with your eyes open. Good night. I thought you were asleep. Almost. I was almost asleep. I'm sleeping now. Good night. String bean? Good night, string bean. Welcome to bedtime, the parade of tears.
Boy, I'm pooped. Watching a meteor shower is fun, but having string bean for a guest is a huge responsibility. Nunzio, what excellent work you've done. By end of this week, we shall have a vibrant neighborhood full of happy trumpet animalcules. Neighborhood? How many buildings am I to make? Why, hundreds. Hundreds? And streets, and sewers, and bus stops, and sports equipment stores. Sports equipment? Of course. We don't play with imaginary badminton birdies here. <sighs> Yes, this is Bubble Bubble Meows. I won free monkey bar lessons? For last week? No thank you. I wonder if this phone has a no ring setting. I better wake up String Bean so we can go to the zoo. I mean, lemonade stand. String Bean? String Bean! String Bean, wake up! Good morning, Bubble Bubble Meows. How did you sleep? Well, short but sweet. Just like me. <laughs> what are you doing sleeping out on the lawn, String Bean? <laughs> I don't know. Well, we need to get going if we want to spend the day at the zoo. The zoo? The lemonade stand. I'm coming. I'm getting up. Do you want an espresso? No, thank you. It made me kind of gashy. Huh. This is your car? Yes, it's a hybrid. A hybrid of what? Part car, part twice-baked potato. Oh, wow. Does it run on bacon bits? Yes, it does. Oh, dear. And it plays a little theme tune. What the heck is that potato doing on the road? My friend, Snow Pea. Who knew wild bagels could be so fearsome and scary? This is a G-rated movie, right? Where's Bob Lemonade? Aren't you at all interested in the zoo attractions? Aren't we the ones who belong in cages, Bobble Meows? All right, let's get some lemonade. And Joey wants a Shoba Cam. He does? Oh yeah, I taught him to say Shoba Cam. Joey, say Shoba Can. Sodi Can. And I taught him to say, please pass the onion rings in Swahili. Tafadali, Kupita, Pete, Vitangu. Wow. Je ne pas mon devoir, mademoiselle. What was that? Must be a malfunction. Joey, cut that out. You know your French is horrible. Lemonade for sale. That's right. We're currently selling lemonade. Not one natural ingredient. Except for lemons. And sugar. One lemonade, please. It's for me. Who said that? Me. I said that. What are you supposed to be? I'm string bean. You're tiny. <laughs> I know. I don't think we have any lemonade small enough for you. <laughs> you won't? What are you talking about? I mean, he's too tiny. So? So we only have two sizes, extra large lemonade, and the other size is bigger than that. You don't have anything smaller? Small enough for me? Nope, you're out of luck. Goodbye. Wait, why can't we just buy the extra large lemonade? Because it's too big for him. He's just a little guy. He's just a little string bean. But he doesn't have to drink the whole thing, just as much as he feels like. Sorry, I can't afford to take the risk. Risk? What risk? I cannot say. You can't? I can't. You can't or you won't? I can't because I don't know what the risk is. You're being silly. Not at all. If I don't know what the risk is, then I don't want to take it. What a salty kebabby. What did you call me? You heard me, Nana. Psst, cat. What do you want? I'll sell you the lemonade. You will? Sure. I'm not a bad banana in a wig, but you see that banana over there? Yes? That banana won't sell you any lemonade, not with that kind of liability. But me, I'm a risk taker. Ow. Uh-oh. Bobble meows. 
Bubble bubble meows. String bean? I don't feel so good. Oh no, what's wrong? I knew it. This was what I was worried about. My tummy hurt. Wow, that banana was right. I retract what I said before about me being a risk taker. No lemonade for you. Did the espresso give you tummy troubles? I won't think so. It wasn't even real espresso. Jeepers, I better take you home. Psst, cat. Yes? I've seen this kind of thing before. My brother-in-law, his tummy hurt once. It wasn't espresso either. And it sure wasn't lemonade. Oh, what was it? Your little friend, he's got the symptoms all right. He swallowed a meteor. Swallowed a meteor? But that's impossible. How could that happen? Maybe your friend sleepwalks and accidentally went outside last night during the meteor shower and then a meteor fell into his mouth when his mouth was open and now he doesn't remember anything because he was sleepwalking. That's cuckoo buku bonkers. How could that be? Crazier things have happened. Statistically, it's very rare. But if you sleepwalk... String bean, do you sleepwalk? No. Yeah. Sometimes. He means constantly. I boo? If you sleepwalk, the chances increase dramatically. Dramatically increase? But what can we do to help him? How should I know? I'm a banana in a wig. Are you talking about your brother-in-law again? What's it to you, banana? Oh, my tummy. I'm taking you to the hospital. So he can. Not now, Joey. We need to help String Bean. Snow pee. I've never been to a hospital before. It's a lot of fun. It is? Sure it is. We're going to have a good time here. Hospitals creep me out. It's the clean smell. The smell of clean. Close for the World Giggling Tournament? Oh no. Bubble bubble meows? What will we do now? I guess we'll have to go find the doctors at the stadium. Or we could just wait until this thing blows over. Joey Jr., String Bean is in a lot of discomfort. I know, I know. It's just, this thing is becoming quite the hassle. I think it's more like an adventure. That's the spirit, String Bean. We're having an adventure. Excuse me? Excuse me? Is this hospital closed today? Yes, it looks that way. What happened to you? I got my head stuck in the nail. Dogs. Total moldy kebabies. I hope you get better. Thanks! Let's go, Bubble Bubble Meows. Yes, let's go to the stadium. Good luck! Watch out for eggs! <coughs> oh! Batui. No pee. その頃、スタジアムでは世界笑い選手権が行われていました。Sold out. Now we can't get in to find a doctor. What do you mean it's sold out? We've been excited about this for weeks. You babies don't have tickets? If we did, we would be in there and not out here with you. Our cat's always this slow. We're having an emergency situation. We need to see a doctor quick. So, go to the hospital. It's closed. Everyone's at this giggling tournament. A likely story. Here, take this book. What is it? Read the cover! First aid care for emergencies when all the doctors and nurses are super busy. What good luck! Maybe I can find a cure for string bean in here. Seriously? Wow, there's so much in here. There's even a cure for wild bagel bites. What about tummy aches? Yes, I found it. It's... it's a recipe. A recipe? For what? For a casserole. A casserole? What's that? I've never made one, but we'll figure it out. Thank you, little baby. You're welcome. Now scram. Babies are so rude. I heard that, Marshmallow Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, everyone. Hey, let's sneak in the service entrance. What if we get nabbed? Just start crying. It works every time. <laughs> I 
time a cheese sandwich. Hi, Snoopy. Casserole. A meal cooked in a dish inside an oven. The instructions are very easy. Doesn't sound too good. I won't like picking the seeds from your teeth. I don't think there's seeds in a casserole. Okay, okay. Let's get going. My tummy hurts like you wouldn't believe. It says here that we need just three ingredients, but I've never heard of these things before. I certainly don't have them here at home. What kind of things? Ingredient number one, watermelon spray. What's that? Watermelon spray. Hmm. It must be a spray made from watermelons. Wow. What else? Ingredient number two, a kitten eyelash. Kitten eyelash? I'm supposed to eat a kitten eyelash? You will if you want to get better. I boo. I boo want to get better. My tummy hurts and it's not getting any better. The last ingredient, ingredient number three, chicken beak butter. Oh, well that sounds okay. It does? Sounds okay to me. You'd eat chicken beak butter, but not a kitten eyelash. I wouldn't eat that. Oh, string bean. Well, let's get started. Watermelon spray. What an unusual ingredient. I wonder if the watermelon clinic has any. Watermelon clinic? What's that? It's a place where watermelons go for physical therapy after they've been in bicycle accidents. It's a long shot, but I don't know where else we could go to find watermelon spray. Let's go! I think you should stay here and rest up. No way! I want to see the watermelons on bicycles. We should bring a towel. I predict some kind of blowout. Nunzio, how goes it? We've done good work here. I was just about to clock out for the day. Clock out? Well, I have an appointment. An appointment? With whom? Well, with, uh, uh... Oh, I understand. You have a date with a special lady trumpet and a molecule. That's wonderful, Nunzio. So if it's okay with you, I'll finish drywalling that 71st floor tomorrow. Well... What is it? I prefer that you finish that drywalling today. But it's quitting time. Well, I need that drywall finished. It won't hurt you none to put in a few hours of overtime. Won't you need the extra cash now that you got a little lady friend to take out to dinner and buy flowers and candy? I guess I could push dinner a few hours. I'm sure she'll understand. Now get back to that 70 whichever floor. <sighs> Yes, this is Bubble Bubble Meows. You woke up inside a box of garbanzo beans? You want to know if you're one of them? This isn't even a contest, this is just a weird question. Bubble Meows, get it in gear. I'm sorry, I have to go now. Let's go. This must have taken 700 hours to draw. Hi, Snoopy! あの良いみんなには、これは豚ではなく猫のポールが豚のマスクをつけて追加クリニックの受付で働いているふりをしているのがわかるでしょう。ほら、彼のコーヒーが見えるよ。Nice nice morning. Are you here to donate? Good morning. I mean nice nice morning to you. We're here on a matter of urgent business. We're hoping to find some watermelon spray. Urgent business, is it? You do realize where you are. On an average day, we provide physical therapy for several dozen watermelons who have had bicycle accidents. Our beds are always full. We are always running short of watermelon water, which is why I'm asking if you're here to donate, which is why all those watermelons are here to donate their watermelon water. All these watermelons are sick. And I should know, I'm a doctor. Oh my, I didn't realize it was such a serious business here. Serious? Has a bicycle accident ever been not serious? What's the big deal? Sell us some watermelon spray. I need to fix my tummy. What a rude little person. Which one? I'm not a rube, I'm a string bean. 
take this teeny tiny string bean out of my sight at once. I will put up with no more insubordination. But we need watermelon spray to fix his tummy. Well, why don't you try over there, where it says watermelon spray? One line is for the watermelon spray. The other line is to buy the tickets to get the watermelon spray. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Just be gone. Thanks, Toothy Kebabby. Vanish. Used to be, watermelons were as small as cornflakes. They only got bigger because they sat around watching television for weeks on end. Excuse me, is this the line for the watermelon spray? Or the line for the tickets for the watermelon spray? Oh, I don't know. Okay, have you been in this line the entire time? Oh, no. I was in that other line before. What happened? I don't remember. It was ages ago. Oh man, everyone knows that carrots have bad memories. I do? Do what? Oh. Say, what's that there right next to you? Oh, I don't know. It looks like watermelon spray to me. Oh, does it? So, if you were in that line already, that means that's the line for watermelon spray. And this is the line for the tickets for the watermelon spray. Oh, it is? It has to be. You need a ticket to get the watermelon spray. So you started here and got your ticket, then went to the other line to get the spray with the ticket. And now you're back in the ticket line because you don't remember being here before. So you see, you don't have to be in this line. You've already been here. Oh, I have? Oh, brother. Yes, you've got watermelon spray right there. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. So you can go now. You don't have to stand in line anymore. Wow, that's just great. I can get on with my day now. Absolutely. Oh. Hey, why don't you take it? Yes, but, but it's yours. You stood in both these lines to get it. Oh, I did? Yes, you did. Don't you remember? Don't you remember why you came here to get the watermelon spray? Oh, no. Here, you can have it. I'm going to go get some lemonade. Lemonade? That sounds good. You can't have any, String Bean. Not while your tummy hurts. I know. It just sounds real good right now. Come on, we have to go find the next ingredient. The kitten eyelash. Oh no, that's gross. Yeah, it is. Too bad. You'll need to eat it to get better. Let's go. Where are we going to? The only place that will have kitten eyelashes. The place where kittens are born. Oh, I have a ticket. Oh, I get it. So this means this is the line for the watermelon spray. And that line is for the tickets. That means I haven't been in this line before. Which means I didn't get watermelon spray already. Which means what was in that bottle that I gave to that cat? Phew! Whee! Hot enough for ya? Who are you talking to, Motor Mouth? I snow bee. Look at all those kittens. This should be all too easy finding a kitten eyelash. I like easy. And I like kittens. Hi kitten. Can I have an eyelash? Hey, kitten, I'm talking to you. Kitten. Hello? What a shy kitten. Clearly related to tigers and lions.
I'll ask this other kitten. Kitten? Hello, kitten? Kitten, why did you boo bat? Atama no yoi minna ni wa, kore wa, koneko dewa naku, neko no pole ga, guta no masko o tske te iru no ga wakaru de shou. Tabun, kono ilasto o kaita hito ga, mendo kusaku na te, koneko no masko o kakitaku na ku na ta no de shou. Sore ni shite mo, ittai, do ya te kare wa jime ni ue rare ta no de shou. Sono gimon ni wa, kota e rare koto wa nai de shou. Kitten, will you talk to me? Use your aggressive face, String Bean. I won't have an aggressive face. Hey, that kitten looks like a pig. Is it a hybrid? Kittens sure look strange in the kitten patch. What's wrong with all these kittens? Maybe since they're still growing, they can't give any kitten eyelashes away. Am I the only one who thinks this is Baroque? I think it's weird. Maybe we have to wait until the kittens are born. I wonder when that is. October 12th. Who said that? Who said that? Me, I said that. <laughs> it's a small kitten. Oh my, you really are tiny. You're smaller than, than I am. Can you tell us why none of the kittens in the kitten patch will give us a kitten eyelash? Small kitten? Small kitten? Small kitten? Maybe it's a fake kitten made out of mashed potatoes. What? I'm trying to think of an answer, but you two keep talking. Oh. If you can possibly keep quiet for half a minute, then maybe I can answer you. Let's be quiet, String Bean. Let's play the whispering game. You try to guess what I'm saying. Shh, String Bean. I think... Yes? Yes? I think you had better leave. What? Wow! It's chilly today, and none of the kittens have had any eyelashes fall off recently. I blame the cold snap. But it could also be a vitamin deficiency or a change in the brand of pesticides. Cold snap? Pesticides? Kittens are grown with pesticides? That's a good question. Of course, you would have me devoured by bugs and their larvae? I didn't mean that. I meant- I know what you meant. It's cats like you that make farming such an embittered subject to discuss. I wish you would acquire some foundational knowledge before you show up impromptu at our patch and presume you have the basic faculties to engage in irrational discourse on agricultural methods and modern yield improvements. Look, we just want an eyelash, you furry kabapi. Well, why didn't you say so? Oh boy, you mean we can have one? Absolutely not. This is beyond the beyond. Excuse me, would you like some cake? Cake? Why, yes, I would like some cake. Cake? Oh, absolutely. What flavor is it? Lemonade. Oh my goodness, that's my favorite. String Bean, are you sure you should be eating cake? Oh yes, pretty sure. But your stomach ache. Oh yeah, for a second, I forgot. Just for a second. Ow! Why give us cake and not an eyelash? It's my birthday. Does bish mean you get born today? No, I don't get born until later. But if today is your birthday, then how old are you? Forty-seven. Oh. Oh. You look good. Ow. Watch out, some of the candies on the cake are sharp. Did you cut yourself? It's okay, I cut my mouth all the time. Oh, gross. Wow, what a strong wind. Oh boy. Here it comes. I wonder what's happening. I have shed one eyelash. Wonderful. If you wish, you may take it. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, please, and thank you. Don't mention it. And happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. I won't want any pesticide eyelash. I want organic. String Bean, you're overreacting. We are taking this eyelash. You have no choice in the matter. But I worry about my well-being. I worry about your mental capacities. I'll rinse it off for you. With the stilled water? Yes. Now we just need one last ingredient. Chicken beak butter. I'm so excited. This is like a Fellini movie. But I don't know where to find chicken beak butter. We are going to have to ask someone. Oh wait, that wasn't an eyelash, that was a nose hair. <laughs>
would be great to get the other one out. Everyone knows tater tots are the future of clean transportation. That nice lady in the bar last night told me her number was in the phone book. When I asked her what her name was, she said that was also in the phone book. But which name and which number is it? Pardon me, Mr. Know-it-all. I was hoping you could tell me where to find chicken beak butter. Oh, come now, that's easy. The chicken beak factory. Chicken beak factory? Of course. Thank you, Mr. Know-it-all. Ah, but now you must compensate me. Compensation? I'm a consultant. I consulted you. I demand compensation. What kind of compensation? Hmm, I don't know. I like treats. What kind of treats? Ah, as it just so happens, I do like marshmallows. I'm afraid we don't have any marshmallows. Psst! Bubba bubba meows. We boo have marshmallows. We boo. We boo. We do? Sure. But robots, they're made of marshmallows. Nonsense. What kind of robot is made of marshmallows? Have you ever seen one? I haven't. No, I, I don't see any. Do you? Nope. Nope. None here. Joey, I can't look. Mmm, delicious compensation. Joey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh no, Joey's head. Oh what, you expected me to rip off my head and feed it to that drooling pile of cottage cheese? <laughs> Don't worry, Joey. We'll make you a nice new head after we get this stomach ache problem sorted out. Thank you, Joey, for lending us your head. And thank you, Mr. Know-it-all. Thanks. That smells like a diaper full of durian. Something very crunchy about that marshmallow. This place gives me the creepy creepies. I am also experiencing the creepy creepies. Industrial food ain't pretty, folks. Look, there's someone over there at the loading dock. Let's go ask him how we can get chicken beak butter. Yes, that seems more reasonable than trying the front door. Excuse me, but could we ask you a question? Uh, if it's about the squid nachos, I ate them all. No, it's not about the squid nachos. Is it about the liverwurst ice cream? Liverwurst ice cream? I ate it, if that's what your question is. Actually, can I ask about that? Why would you eat liverwurst ice cream? Oh man, it's good. It's so good. Okay, the real question we want to ask you since you work here at the Chicken Beak Factory is if you can help us get some chicken beak butter. Chicken beak butter? Are you being serious with me? Oh, yes. Yes. Huh, I thought you were. Listen. Come here. I'm only going to tell you this because I like you, and because I don't want you telling anyone else that I ate all the liverwurst ice cream and tuna fish fudge. So listen close. The Chicken Beak Factory official policy, no exceptions to anyone, is no visitors allowed. Oh, I see. But we're not visiting. We're just talking with you at the loading dock. Technically, you are visiting me, and I'm not even on my break. So, for work, you just eat ice creams and fish fudge? I'm only telling you so you don't get into any trouble. They have armed guards in there with attack dogs and a helicopter and backpacks full of snakes. Oh my. But I will help you. I will help you and give you some chicken beak butter. You will? Yes, I will. Just because you asked me so nicely. Oh, thank you. But I will only give it to you if you win. Win what? A game of Roll the Marble. Roll the Marble? Is it a very difficult game? You'll have to play to find out. Ow! Watch it! What's the object of the game? We roll the marbles up the wall and see who wins. Up the wall? But that's impossible. How do we do that? 
These are special marbles. They roll up walls. They do? Yes, we do. We do. I swear on a stack of pancakes. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Whee! Now it's your turn. Here goes nothing. What? That marble's a flim-flam phony kabapi. Just kidding. I can do it. Well, they both made it up the wall. Now what? Huh. They did both make it up the wall. What do you know? This game doesn't make any sense. I think this pig is trying to dupe us. This game makes total sense, and it looks like you've lost. I'm afraid I can't help you. Now go away. But please, we need... You need to go away or I'll tell security that you're trespassing. Oh no, please don't do that. Please don't. Then off you go. That mean pig. He's as mean as that pig from the watermelon clinic. He sure is. Hey, wait a minute. That mean pig is the mean pig from the watermelon clinic. Say what? You are the same pig. I don't know what you're talking about. You're dressed up like a loading dock worker, but you're really a watermelon clinic worker. Bubble Bubble Meows was a tama no yoi neko de shita. Uh. But he also looks like one of the kittens at the kitten patch. Something's funky in the barn, and that funk ain't emanating from the processing of chicken beaks. You're trespassing. I'm gonna call... You're not calling anybody, you overgrown kabapi. Maybe it's us who should be calling security since you're the one who's really trespassing. Technically, we're all trespassing. Okay, okay. Stop hollering at me. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed? Ow. Why have you been so unhelpful? Why don't you want my small friend Stringbean to get better? My tummy hurts. I don't know. My hands are shaking. And the coffee. The coffee. I'm gonna get out of here. It's too stressful. Don't tell anyone I gave you this jar of chicken beak butter. I can get into very serious troubles. Is that actually chicken beak butter? Yes it is. I was hiding it. I didn't want you to find it. You really are a mean pig. Just take it. String bean? Joey Jr., where did String Bean go? Probably to find a restroom. Let's go find him. Hehehe. <laughs> Little do you know that I didn't give you chicken beak butter. It's just a jar of ground up chicken beaks. You fools. Don't you know there's no such thing as chicken beak butter? I don't know why I'm acting so mean. Coffee just usually keeps me awake. But my hands are shaking so much. My hands are shaking so much. Shaking so much. I had too many coffee, and I put a pig mask on. It makes no sense to me, but I'm shaking so much. Shaking so much. Shaking so much. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Shaking so much. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Shaking, shaking, shaking. I am afraid of heights. String bean, string bean, where are you? Where do you think he went? I don't know. I'm worried. So am I. I am a kebabi. Hi, Snow Pea. Boy, was my tummy hurt. I wish it didn't hurt. I wish I wasn't causing so much trouble for Bubble Bubble Meows. 
He's trying so hard to help me, but maybe I can't be helped. But maybe my stomach ache will never go away. Maybe I should just float away from everyone and just disappear. I don't even want any lemonade. Doesn't want any lemonade? What a sad little string bean. Oh, leave him alone. Let him wander over to the unsupervised hot air balloon stand. Leave him alone? At a time like this, he doesn't need to be alone. He needs to be with his friends. Well, I don't see any friends around here, do you? Maybe they're knitting him a nice pair of mittens. He's a string bean. He doesn't have hands. But he has feelings. And maybe friends giving him mittens, even if he doesn't have hands, would make him feel better. Your logic is funny. But your humanity is true. Bobble meows, look! String beans in that hot air balloon. Oh no! Hey, aren't you the bananas from the zoo? Oh, that's my brother-in-law. He has a lemonade stand, too. Come on, let's go get string bean. Are you friends of the little string bean? Did you knit him mittens? He's a string bean. He doesn't have any hands. Told you so. Hey, this hot air balloon is totally unsupervised. I know, it's crazy, Cuckoo Buku bonkers. String bean! String bean! We're going faster than him. We'll catch up soon. String bean! Just let him float away. I don't want to make any more trouble for anybody. Trouble? What's he talking about? He thinks he's causing trouble for us just because he has a stomach ache. String bean, you're not making any trouble. Yes, I am. Ever since I came to visit, Everything's gone cuckoo buku bonkerish. String Bean, you're my friend. I'm used to things going cuckoo buku bonkers. I'll bet that's true. Friends don't make trouble for other friends. String Bean, friends help each other when they're in trouble. Without trouble, there'd be no such thing as friends. No such thing? Absolutely. Really? It's true, String Bean. We're all in this together. And I hope that if I had a stomach ache, you'd be there to help me too. I mean, not in the bathroom, but medicinal help. You know what I mean. If, if Joey Jr. had a stomach ache, I would help, I would. Actually, if I had a stomach ache, I'd take liquid of bismuth and go lie down for a while. Let's go home, String Bean, and make that casserole to save your stomach. Okay. How do I get bound? That's a good question. How do we get down? I don't know how to fly a hot air balloon. I'm surprised we made it this far. Oh, I jinxed it. I'm scared! Hold on, String Bean. How did I even get up here? Oh no. What are we going to do? We could put grapes on our head. Sorry. I thought the levity would be welcome at this moment in time. I know! Chompy, you saved us. You delayed our crash by seconds. こんなことにほとんどの地域で嵐はそれほどひどくありませんでした。でもここだけは別です。
そのうち空がまた明るくなりましたそして気球は地面の近くを飛び始めました I think the worst is over. How do we get down? Let's jump! Jump? Look, it's a cotton candy factory. Great, we can aim for that dumpster of flawed cotton candy scraps. So does flawed mean it doesn't taste good or it isn't fluffy? Because if it isn't fluffy, it's not going to be very helpful. Hmm, it looks fluffy to me. We don't have much choice or much time, so let's jump. Tastes terrible. Hooray! Thanks for saving me, Bubble Bubble Meows. Sure thing. Just don't do that again. It was kind of fun. No, no, it wasn't. Can we make the casserole now? My tummy has reached. Unbelievable levels of discomfort. Absolutely. Let's get back to the condo. Hey, the potato stopped. Oh no. I think the twice baked potato cars broke. So much for providing us with reliable transportation. His mouth opens as if to say, I'm sorry. And then it closes. Hey, Maybe my friend Snowpea can help. Hey, your potato broke. Snowpea, can you help us? Okay. Wow, that little snow pea sure is strong. And a former wrestler. Okay, bye. I feel gross, like a garbage bag full of rancid radishes. Huh, this watermelon spray smells like carrot juice. Well, here goes nothing. The instructions say to mix the ingredients until moist and then bake for five minutes. That's a very undercooked casserole. Well, it is medicinal. It's probably supposed to be a little raw. I sure hope I'm doing this right. I sure hope so too. It stinks funny in here. Now let's bake it. Now we just wait five minutes. What will we boo while we're waiting, Bubble Bubble Meows? I could sing you the Brain Man song. Oh, yes, 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 and yes. Okay, then. Brain Man. Thank you, Bubble Bubble Meows. That was wonderful. Look what I built while you were singing. What's that? It's a hologram ham hock. I made it out of parts I found in a bag of marshmallows. This is too far-fetched. Why, that's wonderful, String Bean. You're so smart. Hey, I can invent things, too. I've got loads of ideas. How come no one ever asks me to invent things? Give me some balsa wood and I'll go to town. Hey, look, here's a song I wrote about my friend's pet alligator. And then he bit me. Now, here's a little dance to go along with it. I'm dancing. This is, this is dancing. This is dance music. This is dance music. Hey you, Bobble Meows, give me a J. Come on, give me a J. J. Give me an O. O. Give me an E. E. Give me a Y. Y. Give me a Junior. Junior. Wait, 
junior. Uh, stop. I forgot the comma. There's a comma before junior to make it grammatically correct. Nunzio, Julia, kids. Mayor Stentor, the city is complete. Our people now have a good place to live and municipal services to keep them happy and safe. It is a grand day for trumpet and emolecules. But Mayor, what shall we name this great city? How about Mayor Stentor City? We'll name it after me because this was my idea and I did all the work. Brilliant. Hooray. Hooray. Let's have a dance party. keeps calling here. Yes, this is Bubble Bubble Meows. You're calling from the moon? You don't have bubble gum up there? I have to go now. Hello, operator? I think my phone is broken. Strange people keep calling me. Okay. What did the operator say? He said if people are calling, then that means the phone isn't broken. Do you know what that means, String Bean? The casserole is ready. The casserole! The casserole! Let's take it out and cure you of your stomach ache. I don't like casseroles, but I don't like stomach aches even more. So, yes, let's eat the casserole. This is the moment of truth. Go ahead, String Bean. It's too hot. Will you blow on it? There, that ought to do it. Thank you. Well, how do you feel? I feel... I feel the same. Are you sure? I mean, it tastes like garbage. But all medicines taste like garbage, so what are you gonna boo? What are we going to do? Hooray! Hooray! Hooray. Ah! Have another bite, little string bean. String bean, wait! Something fell into the casserole! Huh? Oh no, what is that? It... it's a corn cob. It fell from the ceiling. A corn cob? What? How did it get up on the ceiling in the first place? And there's something gross growing all over it. String bean, that corn cob contaminated the casserole. I feel... I feel... better! You do? I... I boo! Something in that corn cob must have added a medicinal quality to the casserole. Oh, that's convenient. How else can you explain string bean feeling better? Lazy writing? Seriously, how did it get up on the ceiling? I feel good, bubble bubble meows. Thank you, cute corn cob. And I guess, thank you, bubble meows. I... I don't know what to say. You... You did a really good thing for String Bean. Hey, it's that pig. The one from the watermelon clinic. And the one from the kitten patch. And the one from the chicken beak factory. Yes, yes, it's me. The very same pig. Who is this squeaky kebabby? Why have you been so unhelpful to us? Coffee! Give me coffee! Coffee? Paul! Coffee. What's he going on about? That's my friend Paul. He's been having a lot of coffee lately. He might have even reached the coffee threshold. Coffee threshold? I don't even know what that is. But I saw a sign that warned against it. Does Paul usually go around in a pig mask annoying people? Well, no, but... I think he's definitely reached the coffee threshold. Look at his paws. Of course. This must be the side effect of reaching the coffee threshold. Coffee. What are we going to do? Bobble meows. I've got an idea. Give him some coffee. But that won't help. He's gone past the coffee threshold. He's gone cuckoo buku bonkers. I mean, give him some of your coffee. My coffee? Oh, yes. Joey Jr., you're a genius. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Bobble meows, look at his paws now. Joey Jr., we did it. Coffee? Paul, you acted like, like a pig. 
My friend Stringbean could have been really hurt. And psychologically damaged. I think you owe Stringbean an apology. I... I don't know what came over me. I had too many coffees. I guess the coffee threshold is a real thing after all. I'm sorry, String Bean. Do you forgive me? Oh, okay. Shake on it. Maybe we could play Roll the Marble together. I don't think we're very good at that game. You're as capable as a wheat bread submarine. Heh, <laughs> good one. How about another cup of decaf espresso, Paul? That was decaf? I... I like it. Decaf. Yes, please. And a decaf espresso for me. Joey Jr.? What the heck? And Joey, we'll get you a new head after the movie. And Chompy? I haven't had any dialogue for this entire movie, so I won't start now. What a crazy adventure we had. String Bean, you should visit more often. <laughs> hey, nice mini skirt. Gee, thanks. Okay, now before the credits roll, I'd like to sing a little song for you. It's about friendship and caffeine addiction and astronauts. But most of all, it's about friendship. You already said that. Sometimes we struggle to understand why people do strange things. You mean cats. The world may not make sense most of the time. All the time. So I'm here to tell you that it's all right. The planet is cuckoo buku bonkers. Cuckoo buku bonkers. We must all attempt to understand this completely. So everyone repeat after me. Ba la 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 ba la 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 Huh? And that's my reasonable explanation. Explanation? For what? The world is sometimes full of opaque smoke, and the moon refuses to glow. And earthworms and scorpions play backgammon under your bed. And chemicals in your clothing off-gas right into your head. And pimentos and kumquats arm wrestle in a sled. And pine cones wearing stilettos thumb rides from Barkhamstead. And flapjacks high five donuts who have successfully counted to ten. And a llama having an orange decides to have a kiwi instead. And marmalade with no flavor wins first place at a marmalade fest. And gargoyles wearing hearing aids play the best of Simply Red. And a ball bearing on a cruise ship takes one last shrimp from the buffet. And that guy from Falco's offered a bartending job at Chili's and proudly accepts. And a ream of paper files for bankruptcy, even though it's stunningly rich. And a seven foot plum on a flagpole is obsessed with collecting wheat scents. And a turkey from Houston is eating Greek yogurt and asks why his fork is bent. And a goldfish on roller skates. Wait, Bobble Meows, you've come to my favorite part of the song, the part where it's over. こうしてバブルバブルミャオツは、サヤエンドウのお腹を救いました。眠りながら歩き回るのは危険だという大事なことをみんなは学びました。それにしても。ラッパ虫はどうしたのでしょう。ラッパ虫と彼らの町はどうなったのでしょう。でもそれはあまり面白い話ではないので、ここではしません。本当だよ。Yes, this is Bubble Bubble Meows. I've won a million dollars worth of underwear?
Hello? My little boy. My mommy. I was just thinking about you. Oh, how come? How's the new condo? Did you get my care package? It's really great. And yes, I opened the package you sent. You get the diarrhea? Diarrhea? Yes, I got the diorama. I know how much you like meteors. Now you can have your own. Thanks, Mom. Did you get the espresso beans? Yes, and they're not decaf. Don't eat them all at once. I'll save them for a special occasion. And did you get the cantaloupe? Yes. Why did you send me a cantaloupe? I thought you liked cantaloupes. I'm allergic. Why don't you like them? I can't eat them. I'm allergic. You know that. Just try it. I don't want to get sick. It's fruit. Fruit doesn't make you sick. I'll find a way to use it. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Now go have a good day today. I'm going to have the best day of my whole life. I've just won a million dollars worth of underwear. Hooray for you. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow, just think. A million dollars worth of underwear. That should make for a very fun and interesting adventure. Oh, she might.